So as you know, my name is Keontae Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is a part two to the reading that I did a little while ago. If you have not seen that reading, please go ahead and check it out. I'm not 1000% sure what I'm going to title it as of yet. So just know that this is a continuation of the reading prior. Okay. So feminine, we have someone here who you are thinking of walking away from, who you are thinking of ending things with. The reason you are thinking of walking away or ending things um, with this person is because you feel like things are constantly being stalled. Things are constantly being delayed with the Eight of Wands in the challenge position. You may also feel like this person does not communicate with you well. You may feel like maybe you don't communicate with them well. There's several different things that are coming up here, several different reasons as to why you may feel the way that you do. But what we do see here on the board is you keep a lot of your feelings to yourself. You don't allow this person in beyond a certain point because you're afraid of you know, letting everything that you feel come to the surface and then being rejected, denied, or ultimately this person be a liar the way that you thought they were, being deceptive. However, prior to even moving on throughout the reading, temperance jumped out. Temperance represents divine intervention, all right? Divine intervention being Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Metatron, different archangels, okay, guardian angels, if you will, as well, stepping in to either lead you, protect you, guide you, give you some sort of reassurance or something so that you don't necessarily feel like you're in a situation alone. They don't want you to think that this person is what you're thinking they are. They're not. This person is a leader. They're somebody who is very, very responsible for other individuals, okay? So um, this may be someone who's very, very busy. This may be someone who uh is spread thin again like i mentioned in part one heavy is the head that uh wears the crown and i feel like you're dealing with someone who wears the crown so this person at the end of the day they're just looking for someone who can be affectionate someone who can be nurturing someone who can be kind and when i say nurturing i'm not just thinking in terms of them i'm thinking in terms of anything or anyone that they may want to bring into this world as well because the emperor is a father not just a leader but a husband as well okay um the queen of cups is not just psychic but she's also known as like a motherly energy as well in tarot so this person may see you as someone who makes great decisions as far as business and finances and career and different things like that okay as well as someone who is um loving sweet affectionate Okay, and we have the two of swords here. So spirit is asking for you to go on faith and not on sight. Because if you were to go off of what it looks like, as far as you're concerned, it's looking really slow. Knight of Pentacles. Because the queen of swords is someone who's analytical. So when you have sat back and looked at the bigger picture, what you see is someone who's taking their sweet old time. Okay. So underline the energy of the reading thus far. We have a three of swords, three of swords, and wow. Wow, if you didn't see part one already, go ahead and check that out. You can check it out when this premiere is done. You can check it out after this, the fact. Whatever the case may be, honey, in whichever order you see it, that's fine. But with the lover's card, okay, the lover's is divine counterpart. So they're coming to you and they're like, listen, I know we have this, this uh, connection. I know we have this soul bond. They're not 1,000% sure what it is. And hear me clearly because a bind and a bond are two different things. All right. Ten of swords. Someone um, feels like they could have sabotaged this connection or someone knows that you have been betrayed a lot in the past. Seven of wands. And this is why you defend your, oh, this is why you're so defense. You get what I'm saying? This is why you're so guarded. This is why you keep yourself inside of a bubble because you have been lied to in the past. You have been betrayed in the past. You have been let down. However, this is what I want to say to you. Spirit said this is not the past. So if someone is moving different, behaving different, giving you different, you can't treat them the same. So Ten of Cups is, again, happily ever after, something that is extremely functional, you know, something that is um, healthy. All right, then we have the Ace of Pentacles. All right, this is like family energy, growing old with someone. All right, Ace of Pentacles is my engagement ring. 
page of cups is reconciliation making an offer um starting over again okay or apologizing for where you think they have messed up knight of cups this person may want to set aside a special evening just for the two of you you may feel like they've been busy a lot maybe this person is you know busy all week long they're at work you get what i'm saying and on the weekend they're just like hey what's up it's me and you time you know put yourself wherever you go maybe this person is always doing other things with other people and in their mind they're like i'm going to set some time aside for this person exclusively just me and this person like whatever way it goes this person is in their mind wanting to do something really significant for you to show you that they're not just talking all right so we have the three of swords now very interesting words for this person to use they're not just talking remember the other day <laughs> remember the other day where um we did a reading and i said talk is cheap i don't remember if it was an audio reading or not because i've been doing those i really enjoy doing those um and it was like talk is cheap or something like that so maybe you felt like the person is just talking or they're just blowing smoke. Okay, you know, a lot of people do like to do that. Yeah, we got the Knight of Cups. You're in your mind like, should I do this? Or are they really wanting this? I'm getting that someone wants to date you. Someone wants to show you that they are dependable or they can be dependable for you. Someone wants to make sure that you're not overly stressing about this and you don't put up a wall, you don't put up a boundary because you understand that they love you. Here's the thing, again, healthy boundaries are amazing to have in healthy relationships, so that's fine. You know what I mean? Um, also too, it'll let the person know that you respect your time. You respect your time, you respect yourself, you get what I'm saying? If you're just not letting somebody play with you or waste your time. Uh, however, the way that this person is moving, once they see that, okay, you're serious about you, they get serious about you. This person is sitting here working with what looks like either his wife and his child, or his two children, perhaps. You get what I'm saying? Because we know that men like to marry younger. This ain't no secret child. But this could be his wife and his child or two children. But he's sitting here putting something together in the home. You get what I'm saying? To hang up in the home. So this person is resourceful. They see you as resourceful. Either way, this person wants to build something with you. And they see it going the distance. They feel like this is something that can last. You know, something that can be... Um, used in many different ways okay or for many many years okay and i don't mean the relationship can be used but it can be useful you know what i mean it can be helpful and if you're thinking a relationship is not in some way supposed to be useful or helpful to your life then that's weird you get what i'm saying it's supposed to add some sort of something to your life or what's the point of it it should add value as opposed to taking away from it you get what i'm saying that's basically what i'm saying okay <laughs> I want you to be like, oh my God, they're trying to use me? Wait a minute, what? No. Okay, it was the example based on what the people were doing in the card. <laughs> All right, so we got the Eight of Wands and we have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, reciprocity. So you're wondering, well, where are they? But you intuitively know better, don't you? You intuitively know this person loves you. Stop playing games. You know that it's not what it looks like. That's why the moon is here. Okay, you know it's not what it looks like. You know how many people say, when people say that, it probably is what it looks like but if you are feeling that then that's different you get what i'm saying if somebody say to you oh baby it's not what it looks like it probably is what it looks like you get what i'm saying however that sounds like some it wasn't me didn't catch me on that camera wasn't me like that's what that sound like like sir it was definitely you i saw you with your mole on the top of your ear in the camera like what are you talking about because if you anything like me you pay attention to things like that about the person you love you notice everything okay so the high priestess you're very intuitive you picked up on the fact that okay this person wants to talk to me as much as i want to talk to them they enjoy me as much as i enjoy them they want to see me as much as i want to see them as i stated over in part one the four of wands if we were to split it in half which remember i said the six of pentacles is reciprocity literally reciprocal half and half you give to me i give to you or whole and whole you get what i'm saying it doesn't have to be half and half because especially on here it's whole and whole but it's like, I have my whole pinnacle, you have your whole pinnacle, here's two others, you know, you got two others, all right, now that's six in total. So it's like bringing together what we have to make more than enough. Again, here's that number eight, it's something about a contract, a karmic contract that is being completed in your life or in their life, possibly both, and then you guys can come together. It's like, when the time is right. So spirit is just like on the sidelines, watching and viewing because it's about that time like it's it's about like the time is rapidly approaching so it's kind of like you're being 
what they call it pruned <laughs> you're being prepared they're being prepared hmm really interesting okay so we have the moon Ah. Yeah, the hermit. So keep it and it's nine. So 18 is nine. And then we have nine. Yeah, so 99. That's been coming out a lot too for the twins. Definitely a completion of a cycle, like I said. Okay, um, the Norton Jersey came all out of me with that, like I said. Um, <laughs> I did not mean to say it like I said. But that's how it sounds. But we got the Ten of Pentacles. You guys hear my stomach it's just over here getting it okay my lord but there's a way that you have to start today you have to start today with your water your green tea all that good jazz then go ahead have you a smoothie or something you get what i'm saying then go ahead and eat some protein or what have you if you would like you get what i'm saying so it's just like i'm trying to do it the right way you know i'm I'm doing it the right way, you know? As a dear friend of mine would say, you either try or you do, right? And I do believe that. I always say that myself. I always say that. It's the truth. Either you try or you do. You're not doing both. All right. So the Ten of Pentacles building something up. Again, like I said, you bring together what you have, I bring together what I have, it's more than enough. The Hermit, you may keep it to yourself that you actually wanna build with them. So they had the Ten of Cups earlier. <laughs> you have the ten of pentacles so you guys are thinking the same thing they're looking at you and thinking oh wow family because this person is loving they're nurturing they're kind they're sweet they're this they're that they're all this other stuff right um shout out to those of you who are like i'm modern day housewife in it you know modern day housewives ooh, ooh, because at the end of the day it's like you know it's nothing wrong with working it's nothing wrong with doing this there's nothing wrong with doing that but nowadays you can do a lot of that from home while being with your children and some people can't and you know i would you know i wish that more people could however in the event that that's something you feel like you would sign up for this is your reading you're like oh i'm in a modern day housewife type shit where i'm home taking care of my family you know doing whatever i have to do as far as supporting my husband and as well as tending to whatever i have going on personally ten of pentacles building us up building it up holding it down lifting it up you get what i'm saying at the same damn time ten of pentacles all right the knight of wands you have a lot of determination you have a lot of passion you have a lot of drive okay ambitious girl no but i'm just kidding but seriously all right and then what do we have underneath that it's reunion energy we have five of wands we have three of cups so again this person is like it doesn't matter what is trying to intervene with me coming toward you three of cups is reunion three of cups is also friendship this person feels like you guys have a great friendship you have a great connection you have a great bond the um six of cups is um nostalgia so when they think of you they get nostalgic vibes feel good vibes you make them feel really good go back to when times were easier times were simpler you get what i'm saying um we have the ace of wands sticking his head out the nine of pentacles yeah this person feels like you're super independent the seven of wands is why again you're so protective of yourself so defensive the three of wands something is coming in the very near future and they feel like this is your justice you know again for some of you this person has been planning something they have something up their sleeve you know that could be the seven of swords energy as well it's not that they're lying to you they're not lying to you about anything it was just 1333 on a time stamp when i said that I was like, this could be what it is as well. Looked up, it was 1333. So 10 out of 10 times, that's what it is. All right. I feel like this person is strategizing. Yes, but strategizing about what? On here, we got a picnic blanket. Looks like some sort of bowl, okay, or cauldron. We have a letter. Again, I told you guys, this person has been writing a letter. There's grapes here. Okay, so this person has prepared harvest. Okay, they more than likely picked harvest from their own stuff. You get what I'm saying? We have a bottle of wine. There is a basket here, a picnic basket. So like they're planning on sitting down, talking to you, romanticizing you or romancing you. We have the um, bouquet of flowers. Okay, so this person wants to, again, show you appreciation, let you know, hey, I'm setting time aside for you. I'm putting time aside for us. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here with this justice card. Okay, 
representing things balancing themselves out again when things fall into place or when things align i'm also getting here too that some of you just don't know you know for a really long time you could have been looking at this person like they're your twin they're your divine counterpart you know which again go and check out part one for the just go and check it out all right for the confirmation however this is spirit's way of letting you know that it's what you think it is all right also go check out last night's reading now i'm thinking about it wasn't the name of the reading surprise it's exactly what you think it is we have the five of swords and the king of wands all right so somebody that does not want to lose you period somebody that is going to do something somebody that wants to take accountability and that's what they're doing because they can sense this guard that you're putting up so they going from the knight of pinnacles which is moving extremely slow and taking their time you get what i'm saying to do it right nothing wrong with that by the way um unless it just take forever but then we have the knight of swords okay knight of swords is somebody who is quick swift the fastest of them all he has his running sneakers on remember i said earlier somebody was strolling this person is sprinting there is a difference you get what i'm saying the eight of cups is somebody saying you know what i'm walking away look at the cauldron didn't i say there's a cauldron here oh where we at didn't i say look it looks like the same the same bowl do you guys see it it looks the same so this person may feel like you know hey no don't burn it up look you think you think that my love doesn't exist you think that i don't care about you so this is why you're going to burn yours because there's two cups in the water this one is floating and um, not floating sinking into the water and this one is floating with the note or whatever she had inside burning okay as she walks away you know i'm done i'm going towards a new day i'm done i don't want to think about this anymore deal with this anymore if it's not going to work if it's not going to be if you don't really love me for real then just leave me alone you get what i'm saying it's that type of energy but here's the two of cups underneath you do love each other okay so again use your discernment i feel like there's going to be some sort of news information message or something received could be back and forth okay um so again you may not know what to feel or what to think about the communication it is you're receiving that could be another thing here okay with the high priestess trust what it is that you feel the knight of cups like i said somebody that wants to date you somebody that wants to be with you and they're going to come quick why because i feel you putting this guard up against me and you shouldn't be you shouldn't be. I'm just simply over here making all the right moves, making sure that everything is in place as it needs to be for the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, okay? So let us see. We have the Emperor. The Emperor with Judgment. Yeah, this is like a phone call, like I said. Phone call, transformation, all right. I feel like this person can sense, again, you pulling away from them. They can sense that you're ready to, excuse me, permanently leave things as they are. And so this person knows they have to do something quick. Now, for there to be three major arcanas, I will tell you this. This is someone that is definitely meant to be in your life and not just be a part of your life for a short while. No, this is someone that's meant to stay in your life. Okay, all the numbers here add up to 10. I feel like there's a brand new beginning coming because you have two, okay, which is about balance, duality, partnerships. All right, you got 13, which is four, okay, stabilizing yourself, structure, discipline. All right, that's the six. Then you have the four from the emperor. Okay, we already discovered what that is, or excuse me, we already discussed what that is. Okay, so with the four and the six, that's 10. I feel like there's a brand new beginning coming here okay for sure it's just a matter of you know do you want it are you going to allow it are you receptive or receptive to what it is or the hangman are you still caught up on something from before from the past because the nine of cups here as far as this person is concerned you're their wish fulfillment so the chariot they're going to continue to come towards you they're going to continue to pursue you they're going to continue to ascend and level up and try and they know that you have this opinion of them that in your mind, you think this person is trying to manipulate you or deceive you or do this or do that. This person may be very intuitive as well because the high priestess came out in the challenge position. So I feel like one of the challenges in your connection may be that you're both intuitive. So in the event that this person 
doesn't share all of the truth with you you may feel that they're not sharing all of the truth with you but it may not be what you're thinking it is like for example like i said this person is planning something they have something up their sleeve so somebody planning something they have something up their sleeve you think oh you up to some shit they are up to some shit but it may not be bad you get what i'm saying so <laughs> So, I'm just saying, the last person I said this to got proposed to by their divine masculine. So, I'm just saying, and that was in a personal reading. Just because you feel like somebody's up to something doesn't necessarily mean that they're doing something bad. Alright, so with the Queen of Cups and the Hangman, we have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, see, this is why you've been holding back. Eight of Pentacles. Should I continue to work on this? Yes, you should. Because the Six of Pentacles went to the Eight of Pentacles, which we already seen is going to go into the Ten of Pentacles. And in the event that you continue to hold back, well, guess what? Especially for those of you who are in tune and you can connect with spirit and you know that spirit is guiding you toward this person continually. If you continue to act like that's not what spirit is doing with the Hierophant, see what I'm saying? All these signs and clues. Then the Tower Bomb, spirit is going to do something to make you so uncomfortable that it's like, okay, now you have no choice. You know, it's something like that like for example some of you may not want to depend on this person remember i said they're a provider they're a protector they're this they're that right some of you may not want to uh depend on this person that may make you feel like for what why would i do that you get what i'm saying however in the event that this person is showing you that you know i could provide i can do this i can do that why be so independent? See, the Nine of Pentacles, because there's nothing wrong with being independent. But when someone wants to take care of you, they want to do something for you so that you can keep your own. Let them do it. We got the Two of Cups here. We got the Page of Cups. All right. Yeah. And the Seven of Wands. They're like, you're so defensive, but you don't have to defend yourself against me. It's my job to defend and protect you from others. I'll defend you. I'll protect you. You know, I'll keep you safe in this little bubble, but you don't have to stay in the bubble from me. If anything, the person is going to come inside your bubble with you. That's how much they love you. You know, somebody that loves you is going to be like, okay, they're going to respect your space and your time and your boundaries and all that. However, in the event that, like, you have to understand and know when it's too far. Like, for example, right, someone could be going through depression, high, low key. You get what I'm saying? But because you haven't heard from them and God knows how long, you just assume that, they have an attitude. Maybe they did, but maybe that attitude turned into something completely different. And now they're depressed. And maybe we don't want them to be in that depressed state. And I'm not saying make yourself responsible for them because here's the circle of control. Again, like I implemented yesterday, right? We're only responsible and in control of what we say, what we do and how we feel. We're not in control or responsible for what others do say and feel. However, someone you love, someone you care about in this way, you're going to care. You're going to want to uh, have them feel good you're not gonna want them to be in a bad funky place that just doesn't make any sense so i feel like yeah that's where this person is coming from you know they just want you to have clear discernment on what this is who they are and all of that all right so let us see nine of pentacles now this one was longer than the damn first one all right we got the eight of cups all right eight of cups like i said emotional withdrawal seven of pentacles this person can feel you emotionally withdrawing in the event that they do not make more of an investment. Again, time, energy, money, whatever it is. If this person does not invest more into you, yeah. Because we got the King of Swords and we have the Five of Pentacles. So this person has been thinking, like, you're going to block me out. Or you're going to block me. You're not going to talk to me. Meanwhile, with the Star card, they feel so blessed, so fortunate, you know, to have you in their life. All right. The Queen of Pentacles. Look, I tell you, you're every queen. You're every queen. You're the Empress. All right, look at them, King of Cups. They're every king. Of course, the emperor is already on the board. I'm not surprised. Five of Wands. There's a lot of stuff that's trying to stop y'all and this and that, but there's a lot of forces that are working for you. So I feel like the things that are trying to stop y'all are like your thoughts. It's not actual things and people out here, you know. Oh, yeah, we have forgiving and learning, okay? As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments, okay? We have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Honeymoon, okay? Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, all right? So maybe that's when. Maybe during the holidays, okay? You'll see this person. You'll spend time with this person. 
you know, during the holidays, they'll be off of work or something. You'll be off of work, whatever the case may be. All right, we have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally, okay? And the underlying energy here is children. So again, when they look at you, they see mother, they see parent, okay? So <laughs> says your love life is being affected by children. Some of you may not want children, you know, uh, that could be another thing, you know, like maybe you met the one, but they just differ because you want different things. Like you want something, they don't. They want something, you don't. You know, it could be another thing that's here, but let us pull something else. This was supposed to be shorter and it wasn't. <laughs> It wasn't, but I'm obedient. It's okay. I mean, expect powerful change. Ooh. Confidence is your key to success. Meditate and contemplate. Underline the energy here is believe in the impossible. All right. Beautiful. So if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hug